Okay. Now we're going to Genesis the sixth chapter, the sixth cha chapter here. Genesis six, you there? Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you the beginning of how the serpent seed will come into the earth, and this seed will be at variance against the woman's seed. Read Genesis six and one. Genesis 6 and 1, and it came to pass, when men became, began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, the sons of the Most High saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. These sons of the Most High are angels. They saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. Okay? Good looking. These are angels looking at women. Now, how do you know this is angels and not people? When you look at the first verse, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. That's men and women right there. Having sex and multiplying on the earth. And daughters was born unto them. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Now, the Roman Catholic Church tried to hide this fact and say, well, these are the children of Seth. We're going to show you why they try to hide the identity of the sons of God. You're going to find that these are the gods they're worshiping in the Catholic Church. These are actually angels that came down and slept with women. Eventually, uh, a lot of people don't know that Satan would eventually take a third of the heavens with him. So there were angels that were enticed that came in the earth and slept with women. How do we know this? Go to Second Peter 2 and 4 in the book of Jude. You got that? Second Peter 2 and 4, the book of Jude. Oh, both of them. Right? You have it? Mm -hmm. All right. And get the book of Job. Get Second Peter's two and four. Second Peter's two and four. For if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned. If he did what? For if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned. That's crystal clear. If the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, read. But cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person. Now, as you can see, this happened during the same time of who? Noah, the eighth person. Go to Jude, next to Revelations, right before Revelations, right? And I need you to hold Jude, and go to uh, Job 1 and 6. To show you who the sons of gods are. Read that. Job 1 and 6. Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord. Now how many people on this earth go before the Most High to present himself to, to the Most High every day? Go, go into heavens and present themselves before the Most High. Read that again. Job 1 and 6. Now... There was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. At that time, Satan had entrance into the heavens. So every sundown, 
the angels go report before the Most High. Satan would come also. Read. Verse 7. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Where you coming from, Satan? Read. Then Satan answered the Lord, and said, From going to and fro, fro in the earth. I was just walking up and down in the earth to let you know that that's Satan before the throne. So the sons of God are where? Before the throne. So not only are people are called sons of God, like those that follow the Most High, and God's chosen people, like it says in, in, you know, in the Bible, the angels are also called the sons of God. Go to the book of Jude 1 and 6. Jude 1 and 6. And the angels, which kept not their first estate. What are their first estate? Their first estate was what? The heavens. Read. But look, their own habitation. He had preserved in everlasting chains, under darkness unto the judgment of that great day. See that? They're in hell. They are bound in hell. The souls of those angels that came down and slept with women until Christ judged them. Okay? So Satan had a plan. Deceive some of the spirits to come down, to sleep with women, to sin against the Most High. Now they're trapped in the earth. Now that they're trapped in the earth, an evil seed is born. That at that time, Satan was using to destroy mankind. Now we understand why Noah was told prior to that by the Most High to build an ark. Go back to Genesis 6. Read it again. Start at the first verse. Genesis 6 and 1. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of the Mosai saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. And they took them wives of all which they chose. So they went and took themselves wives. Read. Verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive, strive with man, for that he is also flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Go ahead. Cutting the life expectancy of humans. Read. There were giants in the earth in those days. There was what? There were giants in the earth in those days. Here's the children of those angels. They're called Nephilim, Napoleon. Okay? Satan's seed. A seed through sin that would be at variance against the woman's seed. There were what? There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that. When the sons of the Most High came unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them. So even after that, let's know after the flood, they materialized too. Read that last part. They did what? And they bare children to them. They gave children to these women. Read. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. They became mighty men of old, of renown, which myths, through myth, they're called gods. Yes. These are the gods in mythology. Hercules and all these different Mercury and we're gonna show you. So these myths didn't come out of the blues out of the clear sky. Alright? This was history before the flood.